Well, we've heard of designer clothes. Let's have a designer planet. We're aiming for something like this. Zoom in. There we go. All right, doesn't look too bad. There's a few little problems with it, but nothing we can't fix so we spend a bit more time. But how did we create it? Well, let's get rid of it. And I'll show you. So the first thing I'm going to need is Google Chrome. Here it is. Okay, so for this idea to work, we need to find a panoramic skylight. Okay, and there are lots of them. We're looking for something else. Fairly big size, and we want something that's got a fairly consistent sky across the top as well. Now, this one isn't anywhere near tall enough, so I'm going to just have a look, see if we can find a better one. small as well. Stop looking. Don't spend too long doing this. See what we can see. Uh, ooh, we might be tempted for that one. We might come back for that one in a second. Let's just keep looking. Let's see more. Uh, there we go. That one's for me. I'm going to select that. The image is 5760, it's the height that's more important on this one actually, so 12, uh, 1200 pixels. We're going to copy the image, go back to Photoshop, go to File, go to New. Let's see if it takes the image, yes it's got it. Click Create, and go Edit and Paste. Okay, so that looks pretty good, we might have a bit of tidying up on the edges to do, but um, We'll see how it goes. First thing I need to do is make the image square. So image size. And what I want is for these two numbers to be exactly the same. Now, most of the time, if I was to do this, and say make that 2,000 pixels, this one changes automatically. So, you know, I said never do this, but you need to do this. Click on there. Now you can make the image whatever size you want. And we need it square for the effect to work. Click OK. Sometimes this takes a while, sometimes it's really quick. But with the magic of video, that happens straight away. Now, before I can apply the effect, I just want to double check that my horizon line just here matches because I want this to match up when I use it. And I just drag a ruler down. Dead easy. If your rulers aren't showing, just go to view and select rulers. See? So, so view rulers and then you can just drag it down just check that the edges left and right are about the same height and they are get rid of that at all now I need to flip this upside down Ta -da! go to filter go to distort and we're going to use polar coordinates and so long as it's on rectangular to polar this will work click OK there we are we have our planet now what we need to do is remove all of the sky how do we do that well easiest way to do it is to use a quick selection tool and if we just drag all our blue area I know it's grabbing some of the buildings but I'm going to show you how to deal with that in a second go now at the top oh it was on the wrong one let's just deselect see I did all of that and it was on the wrong one so starting here again catch up there we go bit in there bit in there okay so now you'll see that it hasn't got this building so if I change this to the minus tool what I'm saying here is don't include this bit in the selection. So in other words, keep it. Now, you don't need to watch me go and do all this, so I'm going to do it, and then come back in a second, and it'll all be done. Okay, so there's my selection. Now, there are still going to be some areas which aren't quite right. I'm going to show you how to deal with those in a second. And what we are going to do is something slightly different. We're going to add a layer mask. 
and we are going to reveal all. Okay. Now, this selection out here, we're going to fill this with black. The tool might be on gradient, change it to the paper, okay? Make sure you're on black, make sure this layer is selected, you can see the little squares, corners around it, this, click, and it's all gone. It's pretty cool. Now, here's the best bit about layer masks. Let's just go to select and deselect. Let's zoom in. in. Between the building, just here, there's still some sky. So obviously my selection wasn't very good. As long as I'm on the layer mask, I can use a small paintbrush. It's too big. Just drag my paintbrush down. Yeah. A little bit further. And I can just paint that out. Now, if I make a mistake, oops, I can just change that to white. I can paint the mistake back in. You can also use the square bracket keys on the keyboard to make your brush bigger and smaller. So, that's the right bracket goes bigger, so the left bracket goes smaller. Black. blue out. And one other thing, buildings are straight, right? Click, press and hold the shift key, and click, and you get a nice straight line. Click, press and hold shift, click. That makes getting rid of all these areas a lot, lot easier. Click, shift and click. Okay, now you don't want to watch me do all of this, so I'm going to do it. And I'll come back in a second. Oh, by the way, just before I do, um, up here you can see the building. It's ruined it a little bit. Let's just paint that back in. Put the brush a little bit bigger. Okay, so the selection tool didn't do a great job of this particular building. We can paint it in, and then we can rub out. Okay, so this is like an advanced eraser tool. Okay, I'm going to do the rest. Come back in a second. You'll see it done. Okay. Alright, and there it is. So we've got a couple of things to fix. Mainly this line in here. So let's make sure we've got this layer selected. In fact, actually, we'll do it with the masking tool. It should still work. Myself a bigger brush. Click at the very top and go and shift click at the bottom. Let's get rid of that. And then there's just this bit in here. Now for this, I'm going to switch back to the actual layer. I'm going to zoom in. And what I need to do is just neaten this up. So let me have a think. I'm going to go for the clone tool. Make it much smaller. An area. I'm pressing Alt on the keyboard, select my target, and I'm just going to rub over this area. And I'm just going to blend this like this, make another selection. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. So, view, fit on screen. And there it is. Now, if I just make my background a darker color, uh, I'm going to go completely black, but we're going to go darker, fill it. Ah, there we are. Okay, now you might be wondering what are these corners? These corners are on here. So, paintbrush. Nice big brush. Save me a lot of time. Go paint around the outside edges. There we have it, a planet. A little rough around the edges, maybe on this building here. I'm sure you can probably fix that. Maybe that's smaller. Just click and shift, click. There we go. That looks a lot neater. Okay, your turn. Have a go at that.